Hey guys, my name is Victor and today I'm going to be showing you how to install and set up the Autojo bot for your Discord server. This is a Discord bot that allows you to get rid of and stop spammers and bots in your Discord server. And by bots, I mean spam bots. And this is a really useful bot for your Discord server that you should definitely have. So make sure to stick around to the end as I show you all of the features and a lot of the most important parts come towards the end. First thing you're going to want to do is come to the top link in the description right here. And you're going to want to click Add Autojo. Add it to a server you have admin and manager perms on and then make sure those are all on and go to the CAPTCHA. Now go to your Discord server and it should be there. As you can see, the bot is in our server. However, Autoja does use their dashboard exclusively, so we don't actually need to be in here. So click on dashboard back on the website and authorize. Select your server. And as you can see, Autoja already has some cool statistics about your server like member count, infractions, and ping. First, we're gonna go to general. Now set this prefix to anything you want. I already have a bot using this prefix, so it's just gonna use two dashes instead and we're gonna update it right there. You're gonna to wanna to have a role in your server with all of the permissions, like my admin role right here, and you're gonna to wanna to give this bot the role for all of those right there so that it can do all of its proper jobs. So here inside of the gatekeeper feature, you're gonna be able to gatekeep essentially any users that you want um, using any of these different, different features. So for example, we're gonna start with the check username feature. So you can gatekeep people who have invites as their names and we're gonna enable that. And you can specifically get rid of words or text. So say that there's a bot, there's someone that's been spamming you with bots that are named something specific repeatedly, then, and you wanna get rid of that here, you can enter that here. So just obviously you don't want just the word bot as a lot of bots on Discord are named bot, but say that it's bot spam. You can enable that there and press enter and it's there. And you choose the action that it wants to do. So we're just gonna have kick. We're gonna update Gatekeeper. So that's how you do check username. However, there are a lot of other options. I'll go through some of them right here. First is the agree command where a user must type dash agree to gain access to your servers. If they don't do this, they'll be kicked after a certain amount of time, so say 10 minutes. So you can't just have someone join your server without pressing agree. Now we'll go through verification. Verification is automatic capture that users go through. So when they join your server, they have to go through this capture before being able to join your server. Next, we're gonna go through the add role feature where a user is automatically given a feature on entering your server. And for me, that will be the level one feature. Remove role, just remove roles from users and we don't have to go through that one. Next is approve. Next is the send a message feature. This will message the user upon joining your server. So say you wanna have a welcome message, welcome to the server. And we're gonna have it message user. We could also have message a channel, then select a channel. So say you wanna do it in your general channel. They mention a server when they join the server. Always make sure to press update gatekeeper. Now you have the password feature where a user has to enter the password, say you just want the word password, and they must do this within two minutes before they be kicked. Now obviously this is just gonna be if you have like a small server that you only want specific people to join this, we'll gatekeep all bots as well since they won't be able to enter the password unless they know it. You can also have the image welcome feature where you can welcome a user to your Discord server by messaging them or messaging in a channel, and it will, or the image will be the profile picture. Now that was the gatekeeper feature. Next we're going to sticky rules, just roles that users get when they join the server and even if they leave and rejoin. So um, these will by bypass any gatekeeper workflow setup as, as it says right here. Um, and we have level one over a gatekeeper already. However, we're gonna have it here too. You can create a muted role if you want users it, a role to be uh, set to mute people that last for an hour by default, that removes all their other roles and mutes them. Here you can go through a lot of other just regular moderation stuff. And now we're going to some auto moderation stuff. We're gonna to wanna to probably enable all of these um, or as many of them as you want. Anti-caps, you don't have to do that, but anti-advert, then you're gonna to want to probably ban or soft ban uh, someone who's advertising or maybe just kick them or mute them. You can do whatever you'd like and mute, you can customize inside of general moderation. You can also have roles that bypass this. I'll have my admin role as well as my bots in here. And always make sure that you're updating things when you're changing them. You're gonna to wanna to get probably ban and nukes and raids. You can also just have these not disabled, not enabled at all, or you you can enable them but send no punishment if you wanna go back and change these later, um, or even set strikes that you can go and customize later on. With anti-spam, you can customize the amount of spam messages. So say someone posts the same message three times um, within a certain number of messages. So with within five messages, they post the same one three times, you're gonna to wanna to mute them. And then there are a couple other things here. Um, so if you want to enable nickname filters and such, and you want to have ignore channels, you can go down here and I say I want to ignore the verified channel and just update settings there and now it's ignored. Next you can go to filtered messages to say you don't want some you, your users to say a specific word. You can just type that word here. For example, you don't want the name of this bot. 
then you can put that here and now it's filtered. Um, right now there's no punishment for it, however it is filtered out. Now these are the basic moderation and gatekeeping fil uh, uses of the Autoja bot. Um, if this video helped you out and worked for you, make sure to like and subscribe and thank you for watching. If you want more from this bot, then please let me know in the comments below.